Life along this country road is about to get a little louder. The Senate is expected to vote on the $52 billion federal investment and incentives for semiconductor makers, specifically companies like Intel. The reality is that Intel and all of the other companies that have made commitments in the U.S. or thinking about the U.S., other countries are trying to steal the, their business, steal those opportunities. Don Graves is a deputy secretary of commerce. His office and the Biden administration are pushing for Congress to act and have a bill on the president's desk by August. The longer that we wait to get this done, the more opportunity for other countries to woo away, woo away those jobs, woo away those investments. As you get closer to the election, it's harder to get things done. Just last week, Intel CEO echoed the White House's sentiments, saying in a tweet his company will start construction immediately after the president signs the act. In an interview with CNBC, he warned he has other plans if the government doesn't act. We will lose momentum. You know, my Ohio plan, right? I want to do groundbreaking. I want to get those shovels in the ground. But I have a great alternative in uh, Germany. And while it appears construction is happening in Licking County, the pop and circumstance of a groundbreaking ceremony is on hold. The company delaying it indefinitely in a symbolic protest against the funding holdup. Intel made a profit of $20 billion last year, and that's raising questions about why the company needs incentives to keep investing in communities like Lincoln County and not overseas. We have to have these investments here in the U.S. We have to make sure that we're growing the industry uh, here maintaining and and expanding our leadership and keeping all of those good paying jobs right here in Columbus. The federal funding is a difference maker in how much Intel will invest here in Ohio. Governor Mike DeWine has said the CHIPS Act will determine whether the new factories are $20 billion projects over several years or if the company will invest some $80 billion within a relatively short period of time. But in Lincoln County, with or without congressional funding, the groundwork will continue for now. Now, there are still several steps to go before the CHIP Act ends up on the president's desk. The Senate must approve the final bill. It will then go across the hall to the House. If approved there, it will then go to the president. Intel indicates even with the delay in construction, the company is still on track to open the factory in 2025.